hi, it's Michelle from The Salty Spirit. So I'm really excited about today because it's it. this is more so like an experiment than a project. So I have a double barrel uh, rock tumbler, which is what I tumble glass in to, to make it look like sea glass. And since I have a double barrel one, and I'm gonna tell you which one that I have, um, it'll be in the description along with all the other information. So in one barrel, I'm gonna put water and sand, some pebbles, some broken shells, basically a little sample of the beach. I'm gonna put that in there with the broken glass. And then in the other tumbler, I'm going to put uh, coarse grit, which is what I typically use or always use for uh, tumbling anything that I tumble, which is mostly, like I said, glass. Again, I will tell you what I use. So that's it. We're gonna see which one comes out better. I'm thinking, wouldn't it make sense that the glass is gonna come out looking like real tumbled beach glass if I'm using sand, blah, blah, whatever you find on the floor of the beach as it gets tumbled naturally? You would think so. I don't know, it could take years upon years upon years to get that desired result, but I don't know, we'll see. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my two piles of broken glass, dark blue and like a teal blue, my two barrels, tumbling barrels. I have um, a little container of just basically, I just scooped up some of the beach, um, sand, shells, pebbles. And then for the other barrel, I have my grit, which of course is chemical. So I'm going to first start by I don't really know how much. I'm just going to wing it. I'm just putting in enough that maybe covers about an eighth of the bottom. I'm going to add my glass. And I don't think there's really any science to this because who knows how long glass tumbles naturally in the ocean. I'm going to add a little more for good measure and then add some water. So I want to fill it just so that it covers it. And then I'm going to take the other, let me move that. Now I'm going to put two tablespoons. That's pretty much the standard for tumbling um, glass for this amount. So two tablespoons of the coarse grit. I can let you know in the description where you can get this. And I'm going to take my cobalt blue glass, put it on in. I don't want that piece a little big. Okay. And then the same exact thing with the water. Just cover it. Just cover it. And you don't want to fill these, these containers more than about halfway with really anything. Okay. So now I'm going to put my double barrel into my double barrel tumbler. I will also tell you what machine I use. And we're going to leave that. Okay, so this is the barrel that had the sand and pebbles and whatnot. And this has been tumbling for just about four days, give or take six, seven hours. All right, something is definitely happening. I'm gonna rinse it in some, some water. And, hmm. What's interesting is that the sand almost is like clay. Now, I think that might have to do with the fact that I put in fresh water. Maybe I should have just scooped the salt water in with it, but I, I don't know if that would make a difference. Now, definitely something is happening. It's very smooth. There's no jagged edges. Um, Okay, so let's just see what the chemical one, doesn't matter because they're both glass. So this also, something is happening. Let me put it in some water. Honestly, I feel like the chemical, it's still a little sharp. Okay, so I wanted you to get a better look. So th this is with the sand mixture. This is with the chemical mixture. Very similar, however, I believe that this for sure is further along in the process. 
However, it does not look or feel like surf tumbled, naturally surf tumbled sea glass. Um, but I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put it back into their um, respective canisters, give it another few days and see what happens. Okay, so I waited an additional uh, like three days. So it was a total of seven days of tumbling. Now this color was in the batch with the sand, pebbles, some broken shells, and you know, it's pretty, it's smooth. It is not, it does not look like real surf tumbled beach glass. Over here, this was the chemical. This was with the uh, coarse grit. And I have to say, same exact time, you know, st very similar, very, very similar to the sand batch. However, I feel like the sand batch made it more smoother. This is definitely still, st still has those little shiny area, some pointiness. Um, and then just the feel of it, I feel like the sand batch is much smoother. I also wanted to just introduce um, actual genuine surf tumbled sea glass. So you can see the difference. Many of you know the difference already, but just to show you, those of you who may not. So it's more in the feel, but if you can see that, okay, look at how transparent the tumbled sea glass is as opposed to the real surf tumbled, which means, you know, this has been tumbling in the ocean for God knows how long, okay? Could be weeks, could be years, okay? The feel is very, um, I mean, it, you can feel, of course it's smooth, but it's also got that grit because it's very cloudy, it's very frosty, okay? So that is real and this is not. Okay, so just to wrap it up, we have the sand in the tumbler and then we have the grit in the tumbler. And I gotta tell you, there's not that much of a difference and I'm a little disappointed. I really thought that the sand, uh, the tumbler with the sand was actually going to really yield um, that authentic look or, and, and feel, but you know what, it didn't. So maybe in the future I'll do the experiment again and I'll do it for a longer period of time. I'll use more sand. I don't know. It's a learning process. But I want to thank you so much for watching.